Hello chess lovers, Soren here and I have an interesting game for you played by a Georgian chess woman grandmaster Nana Alexandria. Her opponent is Kay Weber and the game was played in 1990 in Baden-Baden. Alexandria had white pieces and she started with d4, d5 by Weber, c4, c6, black goes for Slav defense, knight c3, e6, c takes d5, c takes d5, bishop f4, bishop d6, bishop g3, knight c6, e3, knight f6, bishop d3, queen e7, and f4. This move is blocking the bishop's diagonal, but no problem at all for white. White will later play bishop h4 and will bring the bishop on h4 d8 diagonal. Bishop d7 was played, knight f3, rook c8, and we see bishop h4. Bishop b8, a very strange decision by Weber. It was better to play queen d8 and then bring the bishop on e7 square, but instead after bishop h4 we see bishop b8. Actually, black is acquiring a strange strategy. This bishop on this diagonal is doing nothing. a3 was played taking under control the b4 square, and also white can start an advancement on the queen side, a6, white castles king side, Queen d6, of course this queen together with the bishop can't do anything, white pawns stand super solidly. Rook c1 was played, bishop a7 and b4. King f8, of course white won't capture on f6 and allow black to open up the g file. b5 was played, knight a5, knight e5, the knight occupies this central e5 square, knight c4 and white captures on c4, d takes c4, b takes a6, b takes a6 and finally we see bishop takes f6 and after g takes f6 the knight comes on e4 square and already black is facing serious problems. Queen e7 was played and here comes this beautiful knight takes f6 move. Of course the knight can't be captured because of this knight takes d7 fork. That's why after knight takes f6 bishop b5 was played, a4, white is first kicking away the bishop and then knight takes e8. King takes e8 and white is also capturing on c4, we see the exchange of rooks on c4 square. Actually this is a one position, white has two extra pawns and also a very active position. The bishop is dead and black king stuck in the center of the board can be an easy target for white pieces. f6 was played, but now comes the queen, queen h5 check. King f8, rook b1, queen c7, queen h6 check, king f7 and in this position Nana Alexandria made a move and black resigned. Can you find her next move? Ready? She played rook b7. We see a chess tactic involving fork pattern. Now if a move like queen takes b7 then knight d6 is coming and we see this family fork on the board and it's over. Thanks for watching, here are some more game suggestions for you and also for more games don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Good luck!